hair, having trouble with depth, composition, texture, or many other things on how to do that beautiful landscape, that beautiful scenery background that everybody look and go like, wow, it's looking amazing, it's looking perfect, how did you do that? It's like a, a, a magical land that I just want to roll down the grass and stop rolling and 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 then you get back and you go like, yeah, that was a great time rolling in the grass. So yeah, this time you're going to learn how to make that magical and amazing landscape. Let's go into that. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, because champs here get the best content that I can give to you. Thank you very much. Let's go. There is a great place that you can get reference, like Art Station, or you can get some reference on a different place that I don't think many people talk about it. And I really want to talk about this website right here that people don't really know. It's like a Google map, but a Google map that you can just take a print and use it as a full reference of like the full world. And I love this website. It's called MapCrunch. And you can just go like, um, go, random place. And it's going to show you a random place for you to see and use it as a reference. And you can just rotate, zoom in, zoom out and everything. And a great way to solve it is by truly just breaking it into smaller and smaller pieces, just like a puzzle. Let's talk about these topics here before we get into true action. Because we need to solve something. Depth, depth, depth is when you are separating each plane. There is the foreground that is pretty close, like my hand right here. You can see my hand extremely close. And there's the middle ground. The middle ground is my face. Do you see my face? Yeah, that's my face. That's my face. And the foreground, the, the foreground, the background. The background is the stuff that is right there that you can see right here. Yeah, that thing right there is the background. One, two, three, okay? That's depth. How to separate that? Proportion, size difference, and also amount of details. You can see here when I put my hand pretty close, it's a little bit blurred comparing to my face. And the background also received a little bit of blur comparing to my face again, my nose <laughs> comparing to my face again. <laughs> and that's why you always must pay attention to what's your main focal point. You are going to choose what is going to be blurred and what is not going to be blurred. Another example, you could make my face blurred and the hand blurred, but the background looking amazing. You choose where you want the viewer to look. Talking about texture, go and use brushes or you do the textures. How to do the textures by using the standard normal brush? Heck yeah, just go there and do geometrical formats. Geometrical formats with a strong silhouette is going to give you that nice texture when you're not using brush textures. As an example, to do the edges of a tree, the top of the tree, the leaves, I normally do the triangle format, the format triangles, and it shows, it appears as a real leaf. You don't need to do the leaf, you just need to do something that appears, that looks like the leaf, you know? No, the, the other eye. Another thing is far away stuff. Things that are really far away, it's not going to receive the same amount of details. But at the same time, it looks good with some details. <laughs> so what you can do is apply a texture brush, or just zoom in and start doing it. You have both options, both you can do it. And faraway stuff always, 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 if they are not the focal point, they have less, less intensity, you know? It doesn't go that, that bright and that, that dark. It's like a more middle term because there is a lot of fog in front of it. Like, it seems like that, that there is a little fog right here. There is, everything's a little bit bright, too bright here. But when I look at it here, there isn't, no, that's not happening. It's no webcam. But <laughs> we love to do it as an artist. Like here for me, it's a pure black, but you see this as a dark gray. It happens a lot. And now perspective. Remember, your landscape need to have one point perspective, two point perspective, three point perspective, four point perspective, five point perspective. So if you are not doing the points of perspective and connecting them and seeing the lines, the lines that show you the way, you cannot do a tree, a building, a dogo, anything in the middle of the scene because you don't know how to guide that into movement like my arm right here. Can you see it? It's going this direction, this direction right here. Pay attention, this direction. Can you see the like my 
forearm is not as big if you're going to draw comparing to the arm. Yeah, because this one is closer, but since we get the perspective point, we know where it's coming from, where it's going, and which one's bigger, which one's smaller. And about clouds, they, they, they are basically you drawing a, a, t a tree top. Basically. Or you can just do it pretty, pretty soft and blurry. You do it pretty, pretty soft and blurry, or you do it like a tree top full of details. Basically, just like Mario logic. I don't know if you guys know, but Mario, the old games, the bushes, it's the same sprites, the same frame as the clouds. They use the same, they just change the colors. <laughs> the clouds and trees are like, psh, whoa! Now, I'm going to pick the features that I like the most, but let's go part by part. Remember what I said about perspective? If the point's here, everything's coming from here, remember? All the lines that I'm doing here, they must follow it. Remember, solve the composition already in the sketch phase. That's important because it's much easier to fix when there's just a line of sketch than when there's already light, shadow, composition, perspective, blah, 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 blah. It's much easier, okay? much much easier cloud movement is basically big c c c c stretch and c <laughs> that's pretty much that or you can just do the real cloud on doing random movement and format okay that's a more realistic cloud Think of the composition, like, where do you want to guide the eyes? Where everything's coming from, do you see here? Everything's coming from this place, this place, this, this, this. You have this line right here, okay? Focus back. You put that in the middle of your art, and you divide everything perfectly, the most perfect way that you can, into nine perfect rectangle squares, the thing that you like the most. Balls, the, the thing that you like the most, okay? The thing that you like. And when you do this, you're going to find the place that people are going to look the most. If you put anything, this dot, this dot, or this dot, or this dot, you are going to get their attention. But it's not only that. If you put something focused at right here, it's going to get their attention. If you put something in focus right here, it's going to get their attention. If you put something right here, it's going to get their attention. And let's keep repeating. And what I did here. This part here is going to have loads of flowers and everything beautiful, already calling attention. This part here is going to have the big cloud already ha having attention. And this square here got our perfect house calling attention. So war logic, big brain logic, big, big, gigantic, huge brain logic is Square everything, re rectangle everything up, Simba, and you're going to get it, champ, okay? Now we need to apply base colors And that's the first part that is going to show professionalism, okay? Professionalism, because we are serious here We are serious here, okay? Let's select the the basic ground right here with the bushes and everything. Already with the realistic color, already with the great silhouette, already in the great layer that you don't need to take your time, just making it separated from the middle ground, background, whatever ground, your ground, my ground. Rules of the ground, zombies, yes? See? So easy. I recommend using this polygonal lasso tool. You just gotta click here and choose the polygonal lasso tool. The grass in more clothes, it's bright in this image that we're doing. So the back's going to be 
it's going to be darker. Remember, close to a dark thing, there's a bright thing. Close to a bright thing, there's a dark thing. And became a, sar a, a cycle of non-stop of bright, dark, bright, 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 bright. I'm going to use Ellie Kurtz plant brushes. It's free, you can get it. It's free. And another thing that we're going to do right now is add fog. Yes, fog. We're not going to start adding the tails yet. We are going to add fog. This is step of the drawing. We have done basic fog. We have done basic adding one light or one shadow. We've had a little, little render to almost nothing. Almost nothing, serious nothing. And now we're gonna start to add places that really need rendering, the rendering they deserve, okay? Let's go. I'm going to choose right now the mode color burn. Remember to always try different modes because I feel here should some things get burned. I really feel that it should be burned.
leave a like in this video you dare watching on youtube you can you can just help a lot of people find their way into a huge landscape you don't want to help some someone find their way you, you don't want to help someone find their way show the day the perspective point show they the whatever rule <laughs> that's the best way of learning i'm ju i'm just saying that in a normal art school it's going to be a little bit more boring i'm, I'm just saying that here you can be more loose and you just need to remember all of those boring names and everything. You can just run and follow the flow. Follow the flow. Wow. done a little bit of more rendering i also had a call and behind that call there is the owner there is a little buddy call it butter the name of the rabbit is butter it survived in the snake island no you don't need that information but i'm passing you that information by the way so keeping on the content i just wanted to say that right now we are going to apply just a little bit of more effects also i use the the tool the perfect and amazing tool call it smudge tool <laughs> is much too is an amazing tool i recommend you i was changing my strength making it go up and down i was changing the hardness of it going up and down i was making everything go up and down don't take it the other way I, i'm so right now i'm going to apply some effects like color dodge soft light and screen maybe a little bit of overlay i'm going to try maybe i don't like it sorry that lady me and if i like it i'm going to use it it's pretty simple so let's go into that part i'm just going to apply pretty much and try and try and try again this is a not really detailed detailed drawing that i did here but i believe you could get a very good base on how to do composition foreground background middle ground all of those things are really important because the beginning the sketch phase is already going to decide much of it also the 
<laughs> also, the reference that you use, because if you start using crazy colors already in the beginning, it's going to be much harder for you to understand if you're using a really good color or you are just breaking all of your composition. So don't be shy to start using colors from reference. Don't be shy to, at the end, start to use more other stuff, you know, more, let me just lower my volume because maybe copyright, who knows? Okay, <laughs> so do the background with all that you can, try different things. I use color dodge, soft light, color balance and screen. Try different things, don't be shy to try it. Maybe you're going to feel a little bit like, oh my, I'm so nervous, is this is good enough or not? Even me doing this background, in the beginning I was like, mm, is this going to be good? In the beginning, the sketch phase, it's normal for an artist to have that question like, is it going in the right direction or should I try in another direction? And after you choose it, everything's going to flow much more smooth. So trust your abilities. And there is another tip very important. Why not receive even better, even more content like this for you to improve in your art journey? And for free? Yeah, for free, for free! Yeah, so just need to subscribe and hit the bell button right there. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Or if you want even more stuff, you can have and check out our Patreon or Gamroad. We have stuff there too. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll be seeing you in the next one, champ. Bye-bye! You're awesome!